Well, hey, Robbie, what are we doing today? Man, we are out at the Georgia S3DA State 3D Championship Tournament. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm all right. I'm still trying to wake up. It's kind of early. We got on the road uh, way earlier than usual, so <laughs> I'm dragging just a little bit. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, it's going to be a, a beautiful day. Sun shining. Uh, Oh, it's 140 out. plus I'm kids. At, I'm looking at kids everywhere. Dude, parents and kids oh, yeah. everywhere. So um, it's going to be a good day. They start this thing off at uh, 9 o'clock, shotgun start, and uh, we're going to get us some pictures and yeah. probably walk around talk to folks. Just work the uh, chronograph for the check-in station or the, the, the pre-early check-in. Right. Um, and then here in just a few moments, I've got to go to the coordinator meeting. Uh, and then after that, we will continue on to equipment checks and safety brief and get this thing rolling. All right. Well, we'll check back in a little bit. Podcast. I feel pretty good. What do you, think, what, do you, what do you think about a little setup we got going on? I like it. Hey, y'all, y'all went Hollywood on us. Hit, yeah. hit the record real quick. It's on it. Okay. Okay. I didn't realize we was recording. Oh, yeah. I got the record going. Yeah. So. so we went Hollywood on you. Hollywood, yeah. you ready for this morning? I guess. Come on, man. I'm trying. Relax. Do you. Same 20 targets that you got at home. You do. Same you, 20 dude. targets that you shot all year. Ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing changed. You just keep doing you. I'm going to try. Oh, we're going to have a good time today for sure. Yes, sir. Yep. Is this one a little hotter than mine? I, um, I, You have to pull it. We have, you know, or you got to eat it. Yeah. So... I mean, I've been. That's what I was doing because I'm over here. These two are what I have to adjust because Austin talked to me a little bit. Hello. So tell me, Austin, um, how have you, how have you enjoyed S3DA this year? Well, it's going pretty good, but there's some issues. But it's going pretty good. Issues? There's never an issue. We just always have a good time and, ha- and yeah. do what we got to do, right? I've got a question for you. Yeah. Kind of tell me about what you've done all year to prepare to get to this point. Well, I have 10 3D targets, and I set them up about once a week, and I pretty practically shoot a lot this a lot yep. this year. This also, year, the entire year, the, the entire year. Now, do you compete in ASAs as well? Yes, sir. And how has this year's ASA season gone for you? It's, it's going pretty good. It's better than last year. That's good. Well, uh, I know you've got. You got your first top 10 in what, Columbus? Yes, sir. Or was it Augusta? It was Augusta. 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 And that was after your bow fell. Yes. And <laughs> your third axis was all yes, whacked out. to whack. So you, you had a top 10 with a blank. Yes. That's pretty stout. If I would have shot 14 up both days, I would have gotten third. Uh, we're not worried about what you yes. was. But you know. Yeah. But you shot, shot good on the second day. First day. First day. Well, the first round. Yep. Because we shot both rounds on Saturday. That's what I'm saying. Saturday. You shot the first round real good, so. Yeah. Well, keep doing you. All Relax. Right. Go have a good 20 targets, and you'll be just fine. We appreciate you talking to us. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. We're back. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> weird? Weird? It, Come on now, okay. weird. Talking to the microphone, please. Yes. Oh, am I? There you go. Little, can oh, you okay. hear yourself? A little closer. A little bit. You'll tell. If you can hear yourself, then you know you're close enough. If not, you need to, um, you know... So, all right, tell us a little bit about yourself. Who are you? I'm Casey Terrian. And what does Casey Terrian do? <laughs> I shoot my bow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what bow is that that you shoot? I shoot the Elite Echelon 37. All right. Well, uh, tell us a little bit about what you've done this year to prepare to get to this point. I've done a lot of local tournaments around and a lot of practicing at home and at ACE. Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> so you shoot a lot. Yeah. Did you go to Gator Cup this year? I did go to Gator Cup. How did it work out for you? I got third place. How about that? Congratulations. Thank you. Are you nervous? Oh, yeah. For sitting at the table? Casey, yeah. Can't nobody Casey, hear you right Casey, now. This ain't even out This yet. is not live. Okay. Okay. So, Casey, <laughs> all, all, I, all I want no, to tell you, nervous. Casey, is you shoot your game and make sure you call the uppers. Before you shoot your bow. Oh, yeah. Right when I get up there, I'm going to tell the girls. That's your game. No, don't tell them I shoot uppers every time. Just go on and call it every time. Yeah. Take your time. And uh, double check your sight. Double check your yardages. 
deep breaths. You'll be fine. Uh oh, Austin's joining. No, he just wanted to hear. He just see. wanted to hear. He wanted to see how it sounded. All right. Well, well we I'm going to have to exit the party. We got. We just wanted to be, get this working this, and uh, test some stuff, and uh, we want to make sure this thing's uh, doing what it's supposed to do. And uh, we appreciate y'all um, stopping by. Stopping by, and uh, good luck to you today. Thank you. Smile, girl. Shoot you both. Yeah. How y'all fellas doing today? Good. Good. Tired. Tired. Yeah. yeah. How how was the course today? It was a little tough. A little yeah. tough. The uphills. Yeah, the uphills. uphills got us. All right, so introduce yourself so everybody knows who I'm you are. Cody Ayers. Cody Ayers, and what what class are you shooting, Cody? Elementary open. Elementary open. All right, now introduce yourself because nobody knows voices. <laughs> I'm Cannon Holloway. Cannon Holloway, and you shoot the same class, right? Yes, sir. So y'all shot together, right? Yes. yes. Y'all were on the top state together. Yes. And how do we end up? We got a personal best today, from what I understand. That, I got a 195 with two X's. 195 with two X's. Cody, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's a, your personal best shot, shoot, right? Yes. And you did it at state championship where there's supposed to be some pressure, right? Yeah. That's even awesome. So mm -hmm. what about you? I shot a 180 with uh, five twelves. 180, five twelves? Yeah. You was in them and out of them, wasn't you? I was getting upper 10s. Upper 10s. I know I saw yeah. that upper 10 earlier. <laughs> um, you know, when when I hit upper 10s, I just go ahead and call 12s just in case. Yeah. So it might be something you want to play play on if you're going to hit a bunch of upper 12s, right? Yeah. You know, when you're hitting that upper 10, the 12 is up in there sometimes. So, mm -hmm. well, fellas, I'm, 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 I'm glad you had your personal best. I'm glad y'all had fun today. Um, I'll see y'all in the shoot down in a, after yeah. we get done eating, all right? All right. Good luck to y'all in the shoot down because I hear they ain't but about five points between first and second, right? Yeah. yeah. So y'all got 200. So y'all got y'all got some y'all can y'all can definitely get get some moves in there because them 14s do play, right? Yeah. yeah. So that upper 14 will work, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, we appreciate y'all talking to me. So uh, y'all have a good one. You too. <laughs> Tell me what you got there. Tell me, tell me in the microphone what are you eating? Benson. Benson Tonelli, please tell me what you're eating in the microphone. Hamburger. A hamburger. All right, well, after you get a bite of it, tell me how it tastes. I mean, you know, we're going to talk about the food that's here. We want to make sure everybody likes what the food is. I mean, if you like it, you just tell me about it. What are you going to eat there, um, Mr. Uh, Austin Thurman? Um my mother is getting me a piece of pizza. Pizza, pizza. So uh, while y'all eating and waiting on food, how'd you shoot today there, Vincent? Nine down. Nine down. So uh, is that your best 3D score yet, personal best? Yep. That's awesome. Good job. So that that puts you right there in the running with everybody else, right? Yep. All right. How about you there, um, Mr. Uh, Thurman? I shot. 220. 220. Where did that put you uh in that high school group? That's a that's a that's a tough group to be in because them boys ain't no joke. They are not no joke. So um where does that put you coming off the range? Where do you think you're in second, third, fifth? Uh and third or second. Third or second. That sounds good. It means we'll see you in the shoot off for sure, right? Yes, sir. And you and Vincent, you're hoping yours will be in the shoot off too, but hopefully maybe you're you you know Yep. Top five. But that's I know. All. But I know I think uh, uh, that we ain't talk about that yet. We know we know we know you shot well and we know the shooter of the years in, involved, but we, we need to make verify first, all right? Mm-hmm. Well I appreciate y'all how's it all right, you done took a bite of that hamburger. How was it? It was good. It was good. All right, so the hamburgers are good. Vincent Tinelli says get a hamburger because it was good. They he says y'all can buy them next time. Well, we appreciate everything, you know, y'all coming by and talk to me, so. You're welcome. All right. 201. <laughs> 201. What that's, now? That's pretty good. 201. 201? Yeah. So, uh, you think that's okay? I mean, you, th you, you think you shot pretty well other than the one? Yeah. For my first year doing this, it's a lot better than I thought I was going to go. Okay. So that puts you second or third? Second. All right, so you're sitting in second right now. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll go to the shoot down in second place and a few points back, right? Yep. So, you know, the shoot down is a big deal. 14s are in play. Yep. So uh, you play your game. You know what you can hit what you can't hit. Just if I can see it, I'm going to hit it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, that's what it is. So, uh, I mean, essentially we've got three people here that could be all three in the shoot down. Vincent Tonelli, and who's that? Casey what? What? S say your name. Casey Tarion. Tarion. I thought he was Tyrion. 
It's not fair. Either. It all depends on who says it. Everyone says it wrong. Everybody says it wrong. Everyone says it right. Therian, Terian, Therian, Terian. So, um, yeah, I, we'll be watching for all y'all in the shoot down this week. Mm-hmm. Are you going to take some good pictures of us? I'm going to try. I got my... <laughs> um, I may try to live cast it on Georgia Archery's Facebook page. That's good. Um, also want some good pictures. And then I have my other camera that I'll take good pictures if I can. You took some good pictures at this last time. Yeah, year. and you never used them. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I have <laughs> I have some good pictures. Anyway, well, I hope I wish y'all all the best of luck this afternoon in the shoot down. Thank you. Thank right. you. <laughs> So, I am sitting here with, introduce yourself. Lacey Williams. Lacey Williams. And Lacey Williams, what class do you shoot? Female High School Open. Female High School Open. And how did you shoot today? I uh, shot a 204. 204. That's good shooting. Good shooting. So, where does that put you uh, going into the shoot down? Second. Second. And uh, how about shoot of the year? First. First for shoot of the year. Well, congratulations. Well, congratulations on that. Thank good you. Shooting. So, how do you feel like you shot today? I felt I did well. Well, what did you think about the course? It was it was good. It was good. Yeah. Was, was, it, a, was it a long or a short course? It's, it was a little long. A little long. Yeah. You think it was long? Um, I think the weather. What do you think about the weather? Today? It was really nice today. Uh, it's really weather. nice today. Uh, everybody's gonna say the weather was great. I think that uh, whoever ordered this weather did a great job. Yeah, they did. Yeah. So who else did you shoot with? I shot with Miss Casey. Tyrion, yeah. uh, Miss Casey Malcolm, uh, my sister Tana Williams. Yeah, we know Tana. And Ansley, a girl named Ansley, I don't remember her last name. Sap. Ansley Sap. Ansley Sap. Yeah, because um, she's uh, North 40, I guess, with the teal blue shirt. Yeah, that's yeah. Ansley Sap. So, and uh, you was, how did everybody shoot on your, I mean, y'all have a good time? Your yeah, we had good, fun. It was had good. Fun. Yeah. Laughed and giggled. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's good, you know. <laughs> Less the pressure off, right? When you're having fun. Yeah. yeah. You want to do it again? Yes. You ready to go? <laughs> yes. Gonna go do it again? Not today. Oh, okay. <laughs> Next year. We're gonna we're gonna shoot five more targets today, though. Yeah. Maybe five more. Might be three. Whatever. I can't remember how many's in your group. They said if you got eight or more, if you got eight or more, then you'll shoot five. If you know, if you have less than eight, then those have the top three. Gotcha. So that's what we were told today, and we're gonna watch it right out here, and hopefully, um, good luck to to you and. Um, I appreciate you coming over here and uh, talking to us this afternoon. Thank you. All Congratulations. Right. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. All right. So we're going to start this again. All right. We're back. Still at the uh, state S3DA 3D championship tournament. And we've got Zach Harris with us uh, from Ultra View. What's going on, Zach? Not much. Just How are you? Watching. I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? I know this is a little different than the, the game that you play in shooting bows. What do you think about 3D? I like 3D. It's a lot more fun to shoot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Nobody yelling at you to get out from under the tent or anything at the USA <laughs> Archery event. <laughs> well, take a minute and tell us a little bit about Ultra View, bud. Lean up, lean up in the mic a little bit so we can hear you. Uh, well, what do you really want to know about? Well, well, tell me some new products. I, I mean, you just launched a, a new product that just came out the other week, so tell us about that product. Yeah, well, we have our Ultra View 2 scope housing, which yes. is uh, has a very innovative light kit system. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And uh, the new product we have is a World Archery uh Scope shade, okay, which has um, fiber optic wrapped around it, and it um, feeds up into a drilled center lens, and uh, so that way for world archery and U.S. Air archery, you can use the fiber without without uh, without having light. light. So, yeah, so you can run, run run without power and still have fiber. Yep. I've seen the pictures of yeah. it. It, 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 it. It's pretty sharp, and, and, it, and it and it picks up enough light. For most, you know, well, that I that I saw because I saw I saw two in Gator Cup, I guess mm-hmm. it was. Um, that yeah, I Kobe was shooting. Kobe was shooting in Gator. Cup. Now, what what uh, fiber sizes are available? Uh, I believe it's only nineteen because that's what our lenses are drilled for. Okay. What about colors? Uh, red, green? blue, and green. Red, blue, and green. Okay. And uh, who is making that lens? Uh, Feather Vision. Feather Vision is making that lens. Okay. It's a Feather Vision lens, but it's branded by Ultraview. Branded by, oh, I understand that, but that's what I mean. I know it's an Ultraview lens built by Feather Vision. I got that's what I was that's what I was getting at because there's there's a couple of you know big players in the lens market, so everybody wants to hear well, who made that. So yeah. you know, that's a name that we've been around a long time. So. And all of that's available now. Yep, on the Ultraview website. Well, the um, the World Archery Kit will ship, uh, I believe. 
uh, July 1st. Yeah, they have pre-orders. Yeah, pre-orders are yes. open right now. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, good deal, man. Well, um, anything new coming out to pipe? Nothing I can tell you about. Nothing, but there is things always. I mean, you know, that's how companies go, right? They have to keep yeah. keep doing, right? Yeah. You know, you and your funky fingers. How many colors you got now? Uh, ten. Ten colors. And you make thumb pegs as well. Yep. 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 And we just came out with a couple new thumb pegs, too. With a twist. Yep. So it's pretty neat. A couple new styles. New styles. So. Shapes. Yep. You know. Yep. So anything else you want to tell about Ultra View? Not too much. Boss let him out of the boss let him out of the out of the office for a little bit. For a little bit, so he's uh now now he has to promote the product. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you sitting around and uh, at least telling us the new things and uh You're welcome. you know being a now right now is a Georgia based company. Mm-hmm. I mean, yep. and so we're you know Georgia Archery and that's what we rep. So uh, we appreciate your time and I hope you have a wonderful evening. You yes, too. sir. Good luck to you, buddy. Right, thank All you. Right. Well, we're uh, sitting here. We just uh, got finished with a great devotion uh, give, given by Brad Gill, which is from the GON. I guess you've been there 20, 21 years now? I have 20 years now. It's yep. hard to believe. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's a fun place to work, going yeah. to work and talk about hunting and fishing all day, you know? Yeah, so he um, he writes lots of articles and um, uh, gets to take a bunch of pictures of different stuff. And uh, he's also started a 3030 ministry. Yeah. So, tell us about it. Yep. We, um, Lord led me to begin 3030 Ministries in 2011. And uh, that really just kind of, Lord, Lord put a passion for taking young folks hunting uh, probably in the early 2000s. And that all kind of evolved into a ministry in 2011. And uh, it's been a, a really, really big blessing. Uh, to date, I think we have now done 108 camps. And we've seen 85 people come to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior through wow. us. Which is, you know, that's uh, <laughs> yeah. I, that, that's exactly why we do it. I, I wrote a column one time that, that um, I titled it, I'm Not That Good of a Guy. And what, what I mean by that is if we take Jesus out of this taking kids hunting and fishing, because it is a lot of work and uh, oh, yeah. a lot of time constraints, um, I'm just not that good of a guy. I'm not going to do it. So <laughs> we, we put Jesus first. We just use hunting and fishing as the platform to do that. Yeah, I mean, it's a... It's a it, 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 it's an attraction, and then you you know um, everybody enjoys the outdoors. I mean that's what you know GON's about, and with the thirty thirty ministries, you're um, you know spreading the gospel on top of that. So um, I mean it's a great thing, um, most definitely. Yeah. So uh, what what Lynn is I guess is a buddy of yours from BAM, uh, Lynn Hardy. Lynn actually, um, yes, Lynn. Is um, he actually we one of the camps that we do is with a, a local church here, Liberty Baptist here in Carnesville, mm-hmm. and that's how I met Lynn. Lynn helps us with our bow fishing camp that we do in a partnership with Liberty Baptist here, local, and uh, so we just developed a friendship uh, relationship that way. So he's actually been involved with Thirty Thirty Ministries on that level. So. Oh, okay. And so um, you know that's why you know being that he runs Bam Archery. And uh, that's the S3DA that's actually hosting this state championship. Have you ever seen that many young kids in one place, one time shooting arrows? <laughs> I don't think I have, um, to be honest with you. I was a little bit overwhelmed uh, yeah. when when I showed up here. And and well, you got to realize there's 147 kids here. Yeah, I think you said, and then and then and then Lynn told me said, yeah, well, each, each one will probably have you know three or four adults with them. So it's yeah, it's pretty packed out here. And it's an you know it's an awesome thing because these guys. I mean, it's a ministry for them, too. Oh, yeah. And they put, and they really do. I mean, they, they love to see kids shoot and compete and all that, which is great. <laughs> yeah. But they put Jesus first in that. And, and this is, I mean, I'm just one speaker who came and did one event. My understanding is they have a speaker at every event, whether it's, uh, of course, this is a big one, but even at the small ones, they have devotions. And we had, we had, uh, I hosted uh, the, um, uh, Ace Apaches hosted the state indoor. And between every line, we had a devotion. Yeah, that's and so that, we hosted what three lines or four lines, and we had a we had a uh, devotion after each line or before each line started. Yeah, that 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 would classify as putting Jesus first, yes. I believe. So, <laughs> I mean, and, and that's what you know. There's a lot of churches in the S3DA that are they have a you know a nice group of uh, you know churches and a, a bunch of good youth that uh, are you know putting the right right foot forward with Jesus. So. Uh, 
you know, we appreciate you coming out and giving out your time today. Absolutely. Uh, it's, listen, like I told Lynn, I mean, it's an honor. Anytime God opens the door to come and share the gospel, you know, we, you know, assuming we're not off with our families on vacation at the beach, we're, man, we, we jump through that door willingly, you know. So it's, um, that's what we're called to do. I mean, there's a reason that God didn't take me home when he saved me 11 years ago. That's right. And that's, I'm here to do what he wants me to do, you know. So, and, so, so tell us, everybody, if you want to find out more information about 3030 Ministries, where can they find that information out? Yes, definitely. Just probably the uh, two two ways. Uh, we have a website, and it's uh, there's no there's no dashes or anything in the website. It's just three zero three zero ministries dot org. So that's thirty thirty ministries dot org. And we also have a pretty active Facebook page as well. We put albums up there from all the different camps. In fact, we went shark fishing last weekend. Yes, I saw that. I saw that. That, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> Um, so 3030 Ministries as well, and you can reach us uh, through one of those two sites for sure. And if, and if someone is uh, reading GON, they'll find an article that you've done because you've done several. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, we do it. We, we, we're still making it every month. That's so, right. Uh, so. And that's just neat. Uh, I love working for GON because it's, um, it's neat to see how God's worked that into 3030 Ministries and just a lot of cross opportunities there in yeah, those it, two businesses. And it, it happens, and that's a, that's what that's what that's what it's about you know the right right place at the right time there's a reason for that because we don't set those we don't set those somebody bigger than us did uh, i sure i'm glad too because i've tried to plan things and i just keep messing them up you know uh, what i mean <laughs> you know we, we 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 don't we don't make the plan we just uh do that so. amen i'm so glad to some I, I hate i learned this late in life to learn that lesson you know yeah I, and i understand i mean I went through the same thing, you know. Um, I had I, there were some times that uh, me and me and uh, God did, didn't get along, you know. And then you know that and I read in the Bible that's okay, you know. Mm-hmm. And we we discussed it out and argued it out and figured it out, you know. And he Amen. he'll make you make you understand cor- correct for that's sure. That's right. He sure is patient, isn't he? <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> so um, we appreciate you giving your time today, and I appreciate you talking with us. This is a Um, We'll see you around next time. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Did y'all have a good day today? It was great, man. Did you? Had a great time. It was hot. What'd y'all think? Uh, For my first state tournament, it was absolutely wonderful. Yep. Well, I'm I'm glad y'all came. I I enjoyed watching y'all shoot. I really did. What did you think, Marissa? I had to call breakdown, which was kind of sketchy, but I got back, so it was all good. Allie, you said it was good? It was good. It was just hot. So do me a favor. It was very hot. Introduce yourself and where you're from, what team you're with, and how old are you and what class you shoot. Um, I'm Allie Finn. I'm from Evans, Georgia. I shoot with Team On Point. I'm 17, almost 18. Graduating senior. I'm a graduated senior. That's awesome. How'd you shoot today? Um, I didn't shoot my best, but I didn't shoot my worst, but I did have a lot of fun. A lot of fun. That's great. All right, so we're going to go. Marissa. I am Marissa Fullard. I shoot for Refuge Archery. Get up in there, Marissa. Hold on. Hold on. Everybody needs to hear you. Good. My name is Marissa Fullard. I shoot for Refuge Archery. Yep. That's that That's that little bitty team. I am 17 years old, a graduating senior. Graduating senior. What? Yeah. I shoot fixed pin. Fixed pin. Female pins. fixed pins. Yep. And how did you shoot today? Uh, I started off really good. Okay. And then I had a little mishap. Yep. Called breakdown. Came back. Was on fire. Killing it. Yep. Shot a 14 in the shoot down. Woo, you go, yeah, girl. Yeah, I was excited. Yep, you did well. I was. Uh, I, I love watching y'all do this. I mean, shoot down I was pressure. terrified. I was shaking so I bad. <laughs> <laughs> Pre- the pressure, the pressure of, of a shoot down at this level is awesome. Just because you get to feel it. So if you ever get to that point later, you Definitely. sort of had that had that feel. Um, we're not leaving you out, Caleb. So uh, go ahead. My name is Caleb Troxel. I shoot for the Hepzibah Straight Shooters. I went to uh, Richmond County Technical Career Magnet School, graduated there this past May, and I shoot high school fixed pins. All right, and then there was one more. You can tell us next. Mr. Jake Sanders shoots for Refuge Archery. He is 18 years old. He's from Banks County, Georgia. And the reason that we have y'all all here is because the S- Georgia S3DA has decided to give out a scholarship that's not to a school. It's just just cash money. So essentially, you have five hundred dollars each because we had a couple of uh, um, Genesis Law donated a part of their proceeds back for every sh- jersey that they sold in the state, and then um, 
the trophy company, J- John's Trophy Company. What's the name of it? JSD. JSD. JSD donated theirs, and he figured like he didn't have enough money, so he turned around and uh, donated another five hundred dollars in. So um, this money here is great because what it is is you don't have to pick a school. Um, no matter where you go, and then let's say you decide you don't want to go to school, you want to go to trade school. So when you finish your first thing, you bring back your certificate, you get your cash. Um, you go into the military, you graduate, you're, and then uh, you come back and get your cash. So you, you, you don't have to pick the school. So, um, you know, congratulations for, you know, participating in S3DA, graduating seniors, and this is a, you know, a way to give back. So what we're trying to talk about is the uh, growth of S3DA. How long have you been in S3DA, Um, Allie? I want to say three or four years. Three or four years. How about you, Marissa? About, about the, the same. same. So you were you were at the first first three D shoot. Yes. Both yeah. of you. And you're this is your first year. Yes, sir. It's yeah. my first year. I mean, your your club is actually fairly new compared to. Yeah, we, yeah this is yeah, our first state tournament. First tournament or anything. Yeah. First so, cycle. Yeah. Um, because uh, y'all came to the indoor practice, and that was the first time I had met Tony and you know face to face. Yes, sir. And uh, but see, that's the thing about it is you were here. Everybody's done their thing, and um. You know, any anything you want you want to add about S3DA and you know how we're going to grow this to make it even better. I have no idea. I, it's you have great. no idea. I love it. You enjoy it. What about you, um, Caleb? Honestly, I I just wish more people were here. <laughs> more people. You understand that this is probably the largest shoot in the state besides an, an ASA pro win. Well, we did this. Why can't we go bigger? Oh, I'm, I'm not saying it dumb. I'm not put. I'm not saying not to. Don't get me wrong. But the growth that we have so far, I mean, it's about 40, about 40, 40 more than last year. And so that's awesome. What do you have to say, Marissa? SRDA is a great program. It's definitely one of the better ones I've been in. And I've been in a couple programs now. And you meet so many nice people, make so many friends. And I feel like I'm not just on Refuge Archery. I'm on Team On Point and I'm on BAM and I'm on every team. Yep, cause because we're all I, friends. We're all friends. And we're we're a big family. family. We really. are, we family. are. I always, always ever, you know, when I talk um, all the time about my archery family, you know? And so we are all family and we get to know each other. And, it, and, and if you continue in archery forever, you'll show up at tournaments and you'll see the friends that you've shot with. Um, I went for the first time in an ASA for nine years. I hadn't been to an ASA. So I shot the first tournament I'd shot in nine years. And it was like old home week. All my friends that I haven't seen, it's like, hey, what class are you shooting now? What you doing? You know, just catching up on old times. So that's, I mean, you, you'll take this, this. This is a lifetime thing. So let me ask you another question because S3DA doesn't just talk about shooting your bow. We also hunt. Are y'all all hunters or not? Yeah, oh, I am. Yes. Okay, see, that's what I wanted to get at. So, so ladies, y'all, y'all are both hunters. Yes. Bow yes. hunters. Yes. Bow hunters. You shot with. I mean, most folks start with a rifle or, 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 or a gun, but you've uh, you moved to a um, um, bow, and so have you been successful? Um, not quite. Not quite. <laughs> I shot my first deer with my bow last year. All right. And I was so excited. I was yeah, shaking so bad. That's no doubt. But I was I, so I excited. And Caleb? I, uh, I actually missed a big buck with my bow this past okay, year. Okay, we'll see about that. But you did. You know, you went out and did it. So that's what. You tried. I and did. That, and that's yeah, the, I tried. The, the, the part of this sport that, uh, in the S3DA versus other programs, is that they push the hunting, the, you know, the, um, you know, conservation of animals, you know, and they understand what the. And, and yes, the S3DA. When it first started, it was just 3D animals. Now it's three disciplines because we shoot outdoor, indoor, and um, 3D. And y'all all participated in everything to get your shooter to year. And that that was some part. That was a part of this uh, donation. Is everybody did that? So you 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 know, yeah, we all we all like to hunt. We like to shoot animals, and we like to shoot 3D. But what do y'all think about the indoor and the outdoor? I learned a lot from it. Learned a lot. Uh, the indoor. Probably, it's not my favorite. I understand, but um, it's it's a completely different world. It is. It's most definitely a different world. Um, it was a lot of fun seeing how how much you had to change uh, and shoot Just differently. A, yeah, well, it was a different atmosphere. Atmosphere. It's a good way to teach yourself patience and focus. Yeah. Because if you can really focus in there, then you Ro- can get out here and you can focus. Yeah, Just robot. Good. You make you have to make that perfect shot thirty times, sixty times, so forth. What do you think? Of? I mean. It definitely teaches you patience, especially when you're switching from one setup to something different, totally different or yeah. one bow to another oh, bow. Yeah. Definitely. 
So, um, and then you have to go from fat arrows to thinner arrows to the fat big arrows. Or to, just stick with and fat it's, Yeah, just stick with the same arrows. You know, and you that's, know. you know, but some people, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so you have a change or a setup of your bow, and then when you do that, sometimes it feels a little different, holds a little different. And then we hope to goodness that we don't have a flood or a thunderstorm oh, in the oh, middle yeah. of tournament yeah. just stand in the rain it That'd works be, great just yeah, well, stand in well the rain. i mean oh, yeah. as long as it's not so, lightning so, so now you understand yeah. how how you have to practice right you have to wait for the windiest day and go okay i'm gonna go out and shoot out you gotta practice in the wind <laughs> yep. you gotta practice in the rain you gotta practice <laughs> and, in the sunshine and, all of it and, yeah. and then indoors and you the have snow to, man it, it, we don't get snow yeah, in georgia yeah. <laughs> and uh you have to you have to uh, practice um standing in one spot shooting the same minute target at 20 yards um you know and you have to understand that you can't get that's the distraction you know the focus part is big on that side but i'll tell you in my opinion that if you can shoot indoor you can shoot anything and the reason being is because how it teaches your form teaches your shot like you said the thing was so it's a lot different but if you can learn that shot when you move out to outdoor it's so much easier because you gotta think you shoot 60 arrows mm -hmm. right and you know 30 arrows or whatever you the, the, the game you're playing here you shoot 60 arrows total in a three hour period, right? Yeah. <laughs> For shooting, um, cause you practice on the bells, so you probably get a few of them and you shoot 20 shots. And you come out here and you shoot, you know, depending on how many uh, shoot off targets. So, um, you know, that's that's great. I appreciate y'all coming by and uh, talking with me and um, congratulations on your scholarship. Thank you. Um, can hope, you know, wish you the best on any endeavors that you're trying to do. Where are you going forward since uh, we're all graduating? What is your plans? Um, I've actually been accepted to Union College on an archery scholarship. Union College. You go, girl. How about you, Maris? I have been accepted to Emmanuel College on an archery I scholarship. Hear I uh, should start EMT basic school here pretty soon. EMT basic. So we know when you finish your EMT stuff and you get your, your, your marks, you can come back and get your cash. Your first year certificates, boom, I did my job at Union, and then you at Emmanuel with uh, Winchester. I'm excited. Um, uh, uh, Lexi's going there. I've so, met her, yes. yes. She's also, uh, I, I was lucky enough to, I graduated four off my off my uh, team, and uh, three of the four all had archery scholarships. Wow. So I have one going to Lindsey Wilson. I have one going to Emmanuel. And then I have one going to Kentucky Christian University. And so the other, the fourth one, is going to Georgia Southern. And if anybody knows, Georgia Southern has a beautiful facility and they shoot archery. They just don't offer scholarships. But uh, so she's, she's going on a, a um, you know, she has a scholarship, but it's not for archery because they don't offer it. But uh, I appreciate y'all's time today. Thank you very much. Thank you for and, having uh, us. You know, see you in the range next time. Yes, sir. See All right. <laughs>